Hey everybody. So I think it's possible that you tuned into uh, this video because you were searching for a solution to a problem with your Fostex R8 reel-to-reel -reel recorder. These are great analog multi-track recorders. I've had a lot of good times with this, but these have a problem and a lot of people have this problem and there doesn't seem to be a solution to it, but I think I found a solution, so I'm going to show you what it is. The problem why it won't why your machine won't rewind and uh or take up is because these nylon pulleys are get old, the nylon gets old and they get brittle and the hub plastic cracks. It's hard to see, but trust me, it cracks and the pulley falls off and the drive belt disengages and the pulley's flopping around in here. There's no parts for this and there's no support. So people are always upset about this. And I've been working at this for a long time. People have tried gluing them. I tried to JB weld this. This one's still holding on with the JB weld. But this one came apart again. So here's the solution I came up with. And I feel good about this, but I haven't tried it yet. Go to the hobby shop that sells radio-controlled airplane parts and get, it doesn't have to be Dubro brand, but uh, 3 16 inch plated brass Dura collars or any collar like this. These are these are for uh, holding uh, the wheels on the landing gear for uh, radio controlled model airplanes, and I use these a lot. So the inside diameter of this is smaller than the hub, so you need to drill this with a uh, what did I use? A number three drill. Okay, this is a number three, and I picked a number three because when I measured the outside diameter with my caliper, that was the closest thing. So I drilled this. This isn't the one I drilled. This is the one I drilled. I drilled this on my lathe, but I think if you're careful, you can do it with a hand drill, but be careful because it's got to be straight. It should be straight. Now, this nylon is so brittle that I dropped this accidentally, and the hub, the flange broke off because it's just pinned on there with little plastic pins, and that's a bummer. But the silver lining is this. When I push this on here, and I'm going to push it on so that the set screw is 90 degrees away from the crack, and I push it on there, it's nice and tight. That feels really good. And I push it on, it holds the hub on. That's awesome. So I'm going to tighten the set screw and push that. To, no, I'm going to tighten the set screw after I put it on. So I'm going to put this on, and I haven't tried this yet, but... Maybe I'll make another video if it works. If it doesn't, well, I don't know. But I think it's going to work. So it's a it's a pretty good-looking solution for this. And uh, I'll make another video if it works. That'll be great. So I hope I'm saving the world and saving everybody's R8 because they're great machines. And it's such an Achilles heel, this little pulley. Be careful with these. These are old, brittle nylon, okay? So I'll let you know how it goes.